We're gonna keep this intro short and sweet since the video is already so long. I assume that most of you by now are familiar with the iceberg format, just in case you're not, just know that we will start at the top of the iceberg, talking about easter eggs that virtually everyone is familiar with, and then the further down the iceberg we go, the more obscure the knowledge will become. This iceberg is made by myself and my girlfriend Super Terran, so we are very familiar with the subject material. It is color coded by how scary we believe the easter eggs are, green being a little spooky, yellow being decently scary, and red being full blown horror. Without further ado, let's start off with the sky. Weeping Angels The Weeping Angels are a race of predatory creatures from the long-running science fiction series Doctor Who, resembling stone statues. In the show, they are seemingly normal statues until you look away from them. If you do look away from them, they will move and can attack you. They are also a developer favorite easter egg. It shouldn't be too surprising, Doctor Who is one of the oldest and most influential shows on television, starting way back in 1963. In most games, the easter eggs will function the same as the show, since she's moving behind your back, though they really ever are an actual threat. Basically, if you have a game with statues, mannequins, or anything resembling a human figure, it's a very likely to be a Weeping Angels easter egg. It's not the scariest, but it's really neat how influential Doctor Who villains are. It References Stephen King novel, It, is probably his most well-known work. This popularity has increased with the success of a recent two-part film adaptation in 2016 and 2019. It is about a killer cosmic entity that has taken the form of a clown named Pennywise in his reign of terror over the small town of Derry, Maine. Pennywise is an iconic horror monster that can easily be played a homage to with a few key things. A red balloon, a paper boat, and a storm drain. Just the sight of these things together immediately can make someone think of the killer clown and adds a major spook factor to an otherwise normal atmosphere. It's no surprise why it's one of the most common scary easter eggs you can find. Grand Theft Auto V Ghost Girl In Grand Theft Auto V, you can find a ghost near the peak of Mount Gordo between 11 and 12 at night. This is the ghost of Jolene Cranley Evans, the wife of Jock Cranley, a stuntman and politician. Jolene and Jock had a few issues with their marriage, but it all came to a head when Jock wanted to leave Blaine County to pursue his dreams of becoming a stuntman, but Jolene wanted to stay. Because of this, Jock pushed Jolene off the top of Mount Gordo, killing her so he could leave like he planned to. He was arrested, but let go. Now she haunts the location and has left a message in blood for all to see. Jock. This easter egg is pretty scary, but it's so common and virtually everyone knows about it. If you look at pretty much any easter egg video, you will see this on there. Pokemon X and Y Ghost Girl If you go into a certain building in Pokemon X and Y's Lumio City, the music will stop, the screen will flash, and a creepy looking girl with a strange walking animation will float by. She will always say, no, you're not the one, and disappear. It's pretty random to have a weird ghost girl stop you in a Pokemon game, but that just makes it even creepier. There's a lot of questions about who she is, but we will probably never know. World of Warcraft Kraken In World of Warcraft, you can find a pretty classic underwater monster. If you head over to Voldun and Zandalar on the Horde map, to find the secret location and swim northward until you see a group of jellyfish, then dive in. You'll find a strange horn, and when you interact with it, the kraken will emerge into your view. It's a pretty classic easter egg, and could be creepy if you weren't expecting it. Kanye Quest Ascend This entry is kind of a rabbit hole of its own, but has plenty of explanation videos. Basically, if you play Kanye Quest at a certain point, the player will be asked what would you like to do with a type box. If you type in Ascend, you will be taken to a whole new part of the game. The game will then reveal that this is the real game. Then we'll ask some really personal question. Uh, then we'll ask some really personal things from the player, like his address. This was all believed to be some cult tied to a religion called Ascensionism, but it is more likely that it was some abandoned ARG. Assassin's Creed 2: Kraken. Another Kraken Easter egg, but this one requires a bit more patience to get. If you enter a particular tomb in Assassin's Creed 2, you can find a body of warrior in a switch. You can pull the switch, but seemingly nothing happens. 
we wait by for a few more minutes without moving, a cutscene will play, showing the Kraken swim on by. World of Warcraft Goldshire Devil Children World of Warcraft Goldshire Town is home to some seriously weird children. There are six kids you can find. They stay in a pentagram formation and they will never change from this shape. If you follow the kids around, they will run to their house, up to the second floor, and here is where they will stand, unmoving, for quite some time. While you're there with them, you may hear whispers saying things like, You will die, and death is close. There are even two skulls found outside of the house. Hitman Contracts Hotel Ghost you can find the ghost of a dead resident in six different locations in the mission Traditions of the Trade. To find the hallway where the ghost is located, go to the hallway on the right of the ground level and keep on waiting until you see a door with a sign on it saying, Wing Closed. Either pick the lock of this door or open it with the master key. After you open the door, then go up to the left, open the devil doors. Once you walk through the doorway, you will be in a gray hallway. Each room in this hallway contains a mirror and the ghost will appear in all of them. GTA 5 Infinity Killer The Infinity Killer is named Merle Abrahams, a pretty insane man who loves documenting his own work. He killed 8 people in GTA 5 and you may have come across some weird graffiti or writing that reference the Infinity Killer and his victims. You can even find their bodies in the game, but you never come across him. It almost makes it scarier that this insane tragedy is constantly referenced in the background. Hanging Luigi this is more of a bug than an easter egg, but it is included because of how iconic it is. The original Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube features a section of the game where the power goes out and you have to figure out how to turn it back on. During the section, you have to go into the attic, and if you stand in a certain spot in the attic when lightning flashes outside, Luigi's shadow will appear to be hanging. This is pretty infamous for how dark this would be for a Nintendo title. Halo 3 Monkey Family the Monkey People are a strange species of ape-like characters who appear throughout the level Sierra 117 in Halo 3. These creatures are pretty disturbing to look at, having a seemingly human face and the babies being the shrunken versions of the adults. I would not want to come across these randomly. FNAF Custom Night 1987 Near the original Five Nights at Freddy's, you can unlock a mode called Custom Night after being the previous six nights. This allows you to adjust the difficulty of the individual animatronics. If you input the difficulty 1987, you will get jump scared by Golden Freddy, who will then force close your game. Batman Arkham Knight Man Bat Jump Scare. This easter egg occurs when you play the game on Halloween and feel like grappling around some large buildings. Eventually, you'll find yourself up close to personal with the escape to Man Bat, receiving quite the nasty jump scare. Psycho Mantis. Psycho Mantis is a powerful member of Foxhound in the Metal Gear Solid series and is the main antagonist of the first game. He has psychic powers that allow him to read minds and move things with his mind. What makes it so scary is when he demonstrates this to the player. He'll read through your PlayStation's memory card and list off some of the games that you played, and even cause your controller to move on the floor by using the built-in DualShock vibration. It would be a pretty terrifying and meta boss fight for the first time you encountered it. Still don't believe me? Now I'll read more deeply into your soul. I see that you enjoy Nintendo games. So, you like adventure games? You seem to like The Legend of Zelda, don't you? You like action games? Oh, so you've played Super Smash Bros. Melee before. Ratman Den Whispers In both Portal and Portal 2, you can find hidden areas used by a mystery character called Ratman. These dens are pretty eerie on their own, with frantic writing on the wall and trash everywhere. But it gets even creepier if you get close to the walls, because you can actually hear whispers coming from them. GTA 4 Statue of Happiness Heart In GTA, you can find the Statue of Happiness, a green Statue of Liberty-esque figure on Happiness Island. This island is only accessible by boat or helicopter. On the statue, you can find a door with a plaque reading, No Hidden Content This Way. Entering the door will greet you with a giant chained heart inside the statue.
It serves no real purpose and can't be destroyed or interacted with. Doom 2 John Romero The final boss of Doom 2, commonly referred to as the Icon of Sin, can only be damaged by firing the rocket launched into an open hole in the boss's head. After three well-placed rockets, the boss dies and the player beats the game. However, players were puzzled by an odd audio clip that plays during the battle. It was later discovered that the audio was a reversed and pitched down clip of audio of the creator of the game, John Romero, saying, To win the game, you must kill me, John Romero. Sure enough, by using the no-clip cheat to inspect the head of the boss, you can discover the head of John Romero impaled on a stake. Interestingly enough, John Romero's head is what serves as the hitbox for the fight, so he never really was lying to you when he advised you to kill him in backwards English. Pokemon Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Ghost When you battle Phoebe, the ghost trainer of the Elite Four in the Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, everything seems relatively normal. What you might not notice is the ghost in the arena. It only pops up fully into view for a few frames, then is mostly hidden behind the player. If you notice this ghost, it's pretty damn creepy. Hell Valley Sky Trees the Hell Valley Sky Trees are a mysterious race of creatures native to the Shiverburn Galaxy in Super Mario Galaxy 2. Despite their name, these creatures don't really appear to be trees at all. They are black in coloration, and some of them have extremely long arms. These alien creatures can be seen watching over you from the distance. They are never seen again or explained in any future games. Throughout the map in Call of Duty Black Ops 2's Mob of the Dead, you can spot fireworks going off way off in the distance. If you decide to scope in on these fireworks with a sniper rifle while standing on the roof of the prison, you get this nice surprise. Animal Crossing Gyro Chase Animal Crossing really wants you to save your game. If you were to travel to a friend's Animal Crossing town and then quit your game without saving, the next time you started your game, your character would have the face of a gyroid. This has no doubt scared some people, especially since it wouldn't go away until you save and quit your game. I doubt many people forgot to save after that. Mila's Children The game Psychonauts is a light-hearted and fun game that came out on the PlayStation 2 and Xbox. In one level of the game, you travel into the mind of one of your companions, Mila. It's seemingly a giant, upbeat party, but there's one part she doesn't want you to explore. Mila used to run an orphanage and had many children under her watch. However, one day, she went to buy supplies and while she was gone, the orphanage burned down. She is still haunted by this, as is evident by this hidden room in her mind. Hearing the children screaming and seeing them burning starkly contrasts with everything you thought you knew about the game. Runner 2, a Slenderman Runner 2 is a fast-paced side-scrolling platformer. The game goes by too fast for you to really pay attention to any of the backgrounds, and that makes this easter egg even creepier. In the background of one of the levels, you can spot the iconic creepypasta monster Slenderman. He appears a few times throughout the level, but you aren't really likely to see him unless you're paying very close attention. Fable 2 Winter Lodge In Fable 2, you can come across a lodge house in the woods that seems very comfortable and homely looking. If you decide to go in though, it completely changes. The second you enter the cottage, the rooms turn from bright to dingy, dark, and dreary, complete with skeletons, torture devices, and a weapon for you to collect. There are no explanations, and if you leave the cabin, you see in its true form, completely dilapidated. Meal Gear Solid 4 Ghost Caught on Camera in Act 4 of Metal Gear Solid 4, you can take photos of ghosts using your digital camera. 
These photos are pretty scary. These pictures are actually just photos of the development team of the game. Resident Evil 4, don't shoot the water. In chapter 1-3 of Resident Evil 4, instead of going on the boat to progress the story, you may have the bright idea to shoot the warrior. Here's a tip. Maybe don't do that. Shooting the warrior causes a monster to come up and attack you, killing you. Giving you this lovely jump scare. Star Fox out of this dimension. Out of this dimension is a strange location found outside of the known space for the Lilith system. In this dimension, everything is distorted. You are surrounded by strange planet-type things with terrifying faces and paper airplanes. Escape from this surreal level is impossible, and it is seen as an alternative ending for the original game. Animal Crossing Alien Broadcast This easter egg works in every Animal Crossing game. If you turn on your TV in-game at 3.33 AM, you will get a pretty strange broadcast from an out-of-this-world station. This broadcast is pretty creepy, especially in the older games. Elizabeth Dead Bodies in the Water At one point in Part 2 of the Burial at Sea DLC for Bioshock Infinite, players will find themselves in a boat ride with the Ludus Twins. During the boat ride, if the player looks closely at the dimly illuminated water, they will be able to spot hundreds of corpses of Elizabeth, the character you are currently playing as. This is a reference to the very complicated storyline of Bioshock Infinite and how many different parallel universe versions of Elizabeth have died. In fact, the Elizabeth that you play as in Burial at Sea Part 2 is the last Elizabeth remaining in the multiverse. Unbreakable Bendy Cutout In the game Bending in the Ink Machine, you can find cardboard cutouts of the titular Bendy. If you say hit the Bendy Cutout with your crowbar, it will break into pieces. However, if you leave it and then come back, the cutout will be fully back in one piece, just staring back at you. Harvest Moon 4 for 4 Similar to Animal Crossing, if you turn on your in-game TV at a specific time of 4.44, you will get a special broadcast. In Japan, 4 is an unlucky number due to being pronounced similarly to death. The special broadcast is full of numbers in English and Japanese, so play for a few seconds and then disappear. Old Chateau Ghost. The Old Chateau is located deep within Eterna Forest near Route 205 entry point from Eterna City. The manor is known to be haunted, scaring many citizens of Eterna City. When you enter the manor, it appears to be empty and broken down, but you can actually find two spirits in the bedroom and dining hall, a young girl and an old man respectively. Fun fact, this is one of the few ways you can actually catch a fully grown Gengar before Sword and Shield. Arkham Knight New Game Plus Intro If you decide to play Batman Arkham Knight again after you've beaten it, you'll be met with a slightly different intro than before. Just like before, you'll see the Joker getting cremated. However, in this introduction, the Joker springs to life during cremation. He screams and jump scares the player, his scream then fading into almost laughter. P.T. Lisa follows you. The Konami playable teaser, P.T., is by itself one of the scariest games of recent memory. Throughout the teaser, you piece together a chilling story of murder and tragedy, as well as experience a few jump scares by the vengeful spirit Lisa. You never feel safe in this game and are constantly on edge. What many players didn't know until recently was that they were right to feel that way. Using Noclip, a player discovered that Lisa's ghost is constantly right behind you, following you. Witcher 3 Ghost Ship there is a small chance that while sailing around the Skellige Isles at night time, that you will be able to spot a ghost ship. The very brief encounter involves a blue ship quickly emerging from water and then vanishing as quick as it came. You can't chase after it or interact with it any more than just viewing, but it's a very cool ghost easter egg nonetheless. Splatoon Boss Sounds During a few of the boss battle stages in Splatoon, if you listen close enough, you can hear some pretty disturbing ambience. You can hear odd metal clinking sounds, but those can be explained away easily enough. Personally, it's the pain moaning that bothers me the most. Even the Splatoon's director didn't know what these sounds were when asked about it, so it's likely that no one ever will. Portal Coded Messages In both Portal 1 and Portal 2, secret transmit In both Portal 1 and Portal 2, secret transmissions can be found throughout the game. The most popular one being during the second chapter of Portal 2 in Test Chamber 6. Bringing a radio into the secret Ratman Den causes the radio to start transmitting a SSTV signal that can be converted into an image. 
This is the final transmission for Ratman himself, and the player will receive the final transmission achievement for following these steps. Dying Light Teddy Bear. If you do the side mission of Rupert the Gunsmith in Dying Light, you'll be able to find the daycare area that is shown to you on the map. There, you can find a pink teddy bear sitting on a pile of bean bags. Interacting with it causes it to say, I love you. Keep on interacting with it, and it'll tell you to stop it and not touch it. Keep on interacting with the bear, and we'll say, You asked for it before promptly exploding. Breath of the Wild's Lon Lon Ranch. There's a ranch area of Breath of the Wild that is extremely similar to Lon Lon Ranch from Ocarina of Time. There's no official confirmation that the areas are exactly the same places for sure, but the similarities are uncanny. This is rather eerie due to how dilapidated the place looks. Many people remember having fun there in Ocarina of Time, to see it now is really kind of depressing. Yuboa. In a game called Yume Nikki, if you turn off the light in Ponika's house, there is a 1 in 64 chance that the Yuboa event will occur. This event will spawn Yuboa, a sinister looking black and white blob. Once he's there, you cannot leave the room, and flipping the light switch will only cause another flash. If you interact with Yuboa, its face will become warped and you will be sent to a sectioned off part in the desert known as Yuboa's Trap, without a way to get back. The area shows a monochrome background with a few hills and a large bloody monster that's on them. You cannot leave this area unless you pinch your character awake. Payday Left for Dead Witch In Payday 2, there is a level titled No Mercy that takes place in Mercy Hospital, a recreation of a location from Left 4 Dead. If you decide to look in the window of a certain door in the hospital, you'll see a woman sitting on the ground. Looking at her for a moment will show that it is a witch from Left 4 Dead as she jump scares the player. Batman Arkham City Scarecrow Boat Scarecrow played a very minor role in Batman Arkham City, being reduced to the occasional easter egg reference. He does, however, have a hidden secret lair inside an unassuming boat near the industrial district of Arkham City. The lair itself serves as a setup for the next game in the series, where Scarecrow enacts his revenge on Batman for what he goes through in Arkham Asylum. Upon entering the boat, the game will force you into first person mode and will give off a minor jump scare when the presumed dead man in the chair screams out in pain before dying for real. Verrucked Dentist Chair In the already terrifying Call of Duty World at War Zombies map Verrucked, a hidden piece of audio can be activated by interacting with a dentist chair in one of the spawn rooms. When the player presses square or X on the chair, a loud dentist shrill can be heard, accompanied by horrible screams of pain. While this is just one of the many haunting screams that can be heard in the map, the fact that you trigger this one yourself makes it that much more disturbing. Silent Hill 4, Peep Jack. In Silent Hill 4, The Room, you can find a hole in your wall that allows you to see into the room of a woman and her stuffed rabbit next to you. If you decide to try to peep on her too often, you will be met with the rabbit staring back at you, changed from a slumped over position from before. Sonic CD Sound Test. Sonic CD has a hidden sound test menu. In this menu, you can find tracks from the game, a few hidden images, and relatively normal hidden game content for you to discover. If you put in a certain set of numbers, however, you get this nightmare fuel. A repeated picture of Sonic with a weird humanoid face and haunting music behind it. The text on the screen is Japanese for Fun is Infinite, Sega Enterprises. Doom 3 Bathroom After the mission Hell Invades in Doom 3, go to the bathroom in the first part of the game and look in the mirror. A jump scare follows. Her face momentarily turns withered demonic and the camera zooms in on it while the entire scene gets bathed in blood red light and flames sprout from the background. Bioshock Infinite Shakespeare quote When you first perceive and use the possession vigor in game, eerie whispering can be heard from the ghosts that aid you. When these whispers are reversed, however, it is revealed that they are putting Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, specifically Juliet's soliloquy, as she waits for Romeo to arrive in Act 3, Scene 2. The reference truly comes full circle, as when the possession vigor runs out, those who are possessed will point their own weapon toward themselves and commit suicide. Half-Life 2 Zombie Screams Playing parts of a Half-Life 2 zombie scream backwards will produce very disturbing yells of pain. When set on fire, the victim will say things like, Help, God help, and help me.
Rainbow Six Siege, Zombie and Will. On the map Villa, players interacting with a well looking in the ruined spawn will hear a faint zombie scream. This is a reference to the Quarantine Zombies game mode that was briefly added to the game in the Chimera season. Mortal Kombat 9, Crypt Demon. The Crypt Monster is a beastly creature in the Crypt in Mortal Kombat. It randomly pops up for one second, jump scaring the player before disappearing. Footsteps can be heard getting louder than usual before its appearance. Nobody knows why it pops up. It could just be a prank of the player that are in the Crypt for too long without spending too many coins. 3D Land Ghost. In Super Mario 3D Land, at the end of level 4-4, if you don't catch a flagpole, you can catch a spooky sight. Waiting on the top corner of the fence for a few minutes will cause a ghostly figure to emerge from the darkness before once again disappearing. Modern Warfare 3 Sanctuary Gravestones On the map Sanctuary in Modern Warfare 3, laying down next to specific gravestones will reveal some hidden ghostly dialogue. These lines come from the campaign mission Davis Family Vacation where a family is caught in the middle of a terrorist attack. Rachel Ghoul in Arkham Asylum In the morgue of Arkham Mansion, one could find the deceased body of Rachel Ghoul, a notorious villain from the Batman games. After discovering this, if the player goes back to the morgue, his body has mysteriously disappeared. It is well known that Ra's al Ghul always manages to come back to life with his Lazarus Pit, but a body missing from a morgue is still creepy nonetheless. Plants vs. Zombies Slenderman On the map Zomboss Estate in Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, a mysterious figure can be spotted. Looking between a certain set of trees will allow you to see a tall, black and white slender figure, aka the Slenderman. Team Fortress 2 Ghost Room on the Team Fortress 2 map, Harvest, a secret room under the map can be accessed via Noclip. Once inside, an adorable cartoonish looking ghost will pop out and calmly say, Boo! This will always cause a scare effect on the player, but they will calm down after a few seconds. If the, if the player decides to continue to hang out in the room, the ghost will appear again. The map was added as a Halloween update, so while it's not surprising that it has a ghost, it's still very appreciated. Bendy Storyboard Art Throughout the game Bendy and the Ink Machine, there are storyboard illustrated images of Bendy. What the player may not notice though, is that these images change when you turn around. Each time you turn around to leave, Bendy situates himself in a new pose to greet you with. Half-Life 2 G-Man Sightings Throughout Half-Life 2, the mysterious G-Man can be briefly spotted watching you from the distance. Most of the time, the G-Man almost instantly turns around to leave. Some of these signs are really obscure, but you have to squint to barely be able to see him. Outlaws Aliens Go to the first level of the game Outlaws and type in a cheat to unlock all weapons. Then throw a stick of dynamite at the outhouse there. Enter the path and follow it till the end, and you'll see a metal room with a tiny window. Look into the window, and you'll see two aliens about to saw open a cow before the third alien closes a window on you leaving you completely clueless as to what you just witnessed. Harvest Moon Kappa Beyond the bridge in Harvest Moon Animal Parade, you can find a kappa lurking, watching from the water. Kappas are demonic creatures from Japanese folklore, often said to lure their victims into the water before drowning them. This makes his appearance in the water more unsettling, to say the least. Captain Toad Ghost Hands In the level bizarre doors of Boo Mansion, there may be more ghosts than just the boos we know of. Going to the back wall and waiting for over five minutes will reveal ghastly handprints littering the wall while Captain Toad shakes and appears visibly upset. Darice crying. On the Call of Duty World of War Zombies map Darice, one of the greatest maps of all time by the way, the faint cries of a woman can be heard near the furnace room. The source of these cries were highly debated at the time, though it has never been confirmed with absolute certainty who they belong to. <laughs> Evil Within Resident Evil Easter Egg In the opening of Evil Within, the callback to one of the most iconic moments of gaming by referencing Resident Evil. The figure hunched over a corpse as a half-eaten head falls to the floor. 
the figure notices you and slowly turns to you, revealing what it is a zombie. Red Dead 2 Haunted Forest. If you walk around Roanoke Forest at night, there's a good chance you'll begin to hear faint, ghostly whispers of a distressed man and woman. These whispers actually correspond with the in game movie, The Ghastly Serenade. Every quote that's in the movie has a chance to be whispered into your ear while exploring the forest. The movie details the murder of the couple at the hand of British soldiers, likely explaining why they haunt the forest. Time Slurs 2 Game Over Screen. If you wait long enough on the game over screen in Time Slayers 2, you will hear some strange and disturbing audio. It sounds like the story growling, but had no visuals to match. Play backwards or sped up, the audio still doesn't mean anything, so the mystery will likely never be solved. Black and White Whispers In the Godsim game Black and White 2, the players playing after 10pm have a chance to hear their own name whispered to them. The game has a list of recorded common names, it checks the user's Windows username to see if any of them match, and if so, it will then occasionally play the whisper clip of the user's name. Hot Shots Golf Ghost Watcher In Hot Shots Golf 4, the Flatwoods Monster can be spotted in the distance of some courses. The Flatwoods Monster is a famous urban legend of a creature allegedly spotted in West Virginia. The monster pops up quite often in other games too, including Fallout 76 and The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. What it's doing in a golf game though, I'm not so sure. Maybe it's just a big fan. Game Boy Camera the Game Boy Camera came bundled with a collection of minigames, all of which of course revolved around using the new fancy features of the high-tech device. One of the games bundled was an RPG-based game that scared the poor child who dared to play it if they decided to run away. Run away from too many fights and you will start to see edited photos of the developers who worked on the game, with the quote, Who are you running away from? What could have been a funny joke really became nightmare fuel between the Game Boy's low-poly display and the scare that comes from a stranger suddenly popping up in your otherwise innocent game. These faces still give me a bit of a shudder looking at them, and I probably would have cried if this happened to me as a kid. Personified Fear Personified Fear is an error sound on the PS1. The sound is caused by an error in the PS1's ability to read data off the inserted disc. This normally occurs for a scratch disc or an attempt to use a pirated version of a game. The sound itself is a normal PS1 boot sound, but distorted and played in the incorrect order. Fearful Harmony Fearful Harmony is very similar to Personified Fear and that happens due to the PS1's inability to read an insert disc that only occurs on my PS1 consoles. Like Personified Fear, this sounds also caused by the PS1's boot up being played incorrectly. Slender the Arrival, Out of Bounds In Slender the Arrival, if you get out of bounds, you still aren't safe. Clipping out of bounds will cause the message, not even a bug in this game will keep you safe for me, before promptly being murdered by Slenderman. Call of the Finest Hour, Ghost Grim In the Underground Passage mission, a wall can be blown up to reveal a secret staircase. Heading down the staircase reveals a large room filled with pictures and illuminated by flowing candles. The quote-unquote ghost room 
has multiple different quirks, including explosive teddy bears, a crib ghost, and one giant rat. Red Dead Redemption 2 UFO North of Emerald Ranch, you can discover a small lake cabin that is littered with rotting corpses. It becomes apparent that this was a cult mass suicide once you read some of the notes left in the room. The notes detail the reasoning behind the ritual, stating that, in typical cult fashion, the mass suicide will allow them to travel to the promised realm. While this may seem like a stereotypical insane cult behavior, the note specifically states that their savior will arrive at 2 a.m., and sure enough, if you return to the cabin at 2 a.m., a UFO will be spotted hovering over it. Kind of creepy to think that they may have actually gotten something right for once. Xbox Idle Sounds When left idle at the main menu for too long, the original Xbox would begin to play scary clips of jumbled audio. These clips of audio were public domain NASA sound bits. These clips were included to make the console feel otherworldly and like a piece of superior tech compared to its competitors. Fear Stuck Double Door during the first level, there are a set of doors that will not open. If the player repeatedly tries to open the doors, Alma Wade, the creepy little girl antagonist, will appear, then fade away. Over the sound of her crying, a child's voice says, I hate you, Daddy. Doom OST Spectrograph A spectrograph is a visual representation of audiophile spectrum of frequencies. Running the Doom OST through a spectrograph reveals a devilish hidden image during the song Cyber Demon. The number 666 can be seen repeated throughout the song, broken up by pentagrams between each set of numbers. Super Mario Odyssey Disappearing Man In the New Donk City, from a distance, a man can be seen in the front or right corner of the map near where you park the Odyssey. Getting close to this man will reveal a weird hidden secret. This man disappears if you try getting close to him. He will simply fade out of existence. None of the other New Donk City residents have this fade out effect, so it's strange this man does. Maybe there are darker implications than one might guess from Odyssey's rather cheery vibe. Black Ops 2 Zombies Teddy Bear Surgeon In Black Ops 2 Zombies, on several of the maps, Teddy Bears represents the possible location the mystery box is spawned in. Occasionally, the Teddy Bears can be spotted to slightly sit up and then search the area as if implying they are spying on the player before once again returning back to their limp position. Saints Row 4 Screams There are a few houses in Saints Row 4 that sound like something terrible is happening inside them. Walking up to these houses and getting really close to the walls, you can hear horrifying screaming. These screams are genuinely unsettling, as it sounds like there really is a gruesome scene taking place on the other side of the walls. Fatal Frame Idle Screen In Fatal Frame, they have a terrifying way to make you remember to pause your game. If you leave the screen idle for too long in any of the first three Fatal Frame games, the screen will start to show some pretty cursed imagery. In Fatal Frame 1, bloody handprints will start appearing on your screen. In both Fatal Frame 2 and 3, ghastly faces will fade in and out, staring at you. Goat Simulator Moo Man if you disturb the Cow Ranch and Goat Simulator's Payday 2 DLC, you then gain a dedicated follower with no name, but let's just call him the Moo Man. Messing with the cows makes him follow you around, saying moo every now and then. There isn't really a way to get rid of him, and it's pretty creepy that he just follows you around. Fallout 4 Cask of Amontillado In Fallout 4, there are four bottles of Amontillado brand wine that can be found. At one location, along with the bottle, you can find a skeleton shackled inside a wall. The bottle of wine, together with General McGann's story and the skeleton shackled to the wall across the room, is a reference to the story The Cask of Amontillado by Edgar Allan Poe. In the short story, a man named Montressor hates a man named Fortunato for insulting him. As revenge for the slight, Montressor lures Fortunato down into a cellar by promising him a drink from Amontillado wine and then buries him alive inside a wall in the same fashion. Captain Toad Train Ghost In World 3, Level 17 of Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, at exactly the 312th second mark, a ghastly white face can be seen appearing underneath the tracks of the train. 
This face fades in and out before eventually disappearing, leaving nothing but questions. Outlast 2 Reverse Audio Throughout Outlast 2, there are unlockable videos and messages that tell a bit of a story. However, you can get even more of the story by playing these sounds backwards, which reveal some really unsettling messages. Layers of Fear Ouija Room On Halloween, players can find some secret, terrifying game content in Layers of Fear. Outside, a new drawing telling of two children playing with a Ouija board in the basement can be found. Should the player follow this lead and head to the basement, they will find the back room door, which is normally locked, is open now. Inside is a spirit board, which can be used to write various words to watch fun effects take place. Words such as ghost, kid, devil, and woman, among many other words, can make some scary stuff happen in the room. Metro Last Light Broom Lady In Metro Last Light's developer DLC, right before you enter the AI arena, you can be joined by a weird woman carrying a broom. If you turn your back to her, you'll hear a monster type sound, and when you look at her again, she'll be doing something different or in a different pose. You could do a few different ones, but the scariest one is when she drops to the floor and starts crying. Manhunt 2 Stripper During a mission called Red Lights, there's a strip club with two visible windows. If the player is curious and decides to sneak a peek of a woman through the window, after a few seconds of looking, the stripper turns into a corpse for a few seconds, and a scream is heard. Red Dead Redemption 2 Mass Sports Grave Just west of Blackwater, players can stumble upon the scene of a grisly mass murder. The entire Blackwater athletics team can be found dead in a mass grave. Two of the players even have bags over their faces with clown faces drawn on them. This group's death is referenced in the Black Warrior Ledger, reporting the team missing and dismissing the popular theory that it was a Native American attack. What's even creepier though is that this scene's actually referenced to a real-life murder case. The Los Manaceros Massacre, where 12 members of a Colombian amateur soccer team were kidnapped and murdered. The case itself remains unsolved, despite the fact that the sole survivor of the massacre claims that the National Liberation Army of Colombia were the attackers. Zetsubo no Shima Imposter Jump Scare In the Black Ops 3 Zombies map, Zetsubo no Shima, if the player takes time to heavily inspect the experiments going around the island, there's a small chance that an imposter will spawn and stand perfectly still. This imposter will take on the look of one of the four playable characters, and upon approaching it, will jump scare the player and then rapidly disintegrate right in front of you. Splatoon Laughing Statues the phenomenon takes place at the Museum de Alfacino map in the Splatfest night setting. We are all aware of the two statues on both sides of the map representing Inkling Girl and the well-known art pose. If you walk through the map to the center, you'll have enough time to hear both statues do a weird, creepy, childish laugh. Then, they will look to stay quite mute. Staying in the center with about 50 seconds on the counter and they will get extremely vocal, responding to each other. If you walk next to one, the close one will get mute, and you'll hear the one from the other side of the map. Red Dead Redemption 2 Strange Man Cabin The player can find a seemingly abandoned shack near the Kansas River that seems to have ties with the Strange Man. In the center of the shack, the player can find a portrait that slowly becomes more and more detailed and completed upon multiple visits to the shack. Upon the last visit, the painting is complete and very clearly being a portrait of the Strange Man. In the mirror, you can see the strange man standing behind you, but as soon as you turn around, he disappears. The shack also hints that the strange man has something to do with the curse that is currently afflicting Armadillo. Dear Esther Watchers Dear Esther is a narrative-focused walking sim. The game lacks in-depth mechanics and instead focuses entirely on telling a story about love, loss, and grief. If you pay a little bit closer attention, however, you would realize that throughout the whole game, you are being watched by strange, hooded figures. An extreme contrast from the rest of the game. These mysterious, creepy creatures constantly stalk and observe you from a distance. Hall of Tortured Souls the Hall of Tortured Souls is a horrible little way of showing credits to the creator of Windows 95, especially the creators of Microsoft Excel 95. If you follow a few specific steps in Excel 95, a window will pop up titled The Hall of Tortured Souls. 
In this game, you can walk around and view the names and photos of the people that worked on Excel 95. Stanley Parable Other Person Stanley Parable is a very relaxing and whimsical game. The player plays as Stanley, a man who awakes at his office and realizes that all his co-workers have disappeared. Throughout the whole game, you never interact with anyone except the narrator of the game. However, it is possible to catch a glimpse of another person walking past the other side of the hall. This goes against everything that the game had told you, and frames the whole game in a very different light afterwards. You may never be able to shake the feeling that there's someone else watching you. Jam Sessions Hidden Audio In the game, a voice that seems to be whispering, Don't kill us, or forgive us, can be heard whenever the user lets the A6 chord play out. A programmer has since clarified that what can be heard is actually Japanese for next, but it doesn't change the fact that this easter egg definitely scared people for a very long time. Bioshock Infinite, please stand by. Throughout the Barrel at Sea DLC, you can find multiple little viewing theaters. Watching this one in particular in the second part of the DLC will give you a spooky message. Fallout 3, Georgetown Townhouse. This home in Fallout 3 is a large reference to There Will Come Soft Rains by Ray Bradbury. The science fiction short story is written as a chronicle about a lone house that stands intact in a California city that is otherwise obliterated by a nuclear bomb. The house itself mirrors this. The story includes a family, two children, a dog, and the parents, just like the McLennan town home. Ghost Recon Wildlands Lake Boy In Ghost Recon Wildlands, by heading to the area known as the Child Hut, there is a chance that you will run into a wild ghost boy. The child will pop out from the grass before quickly running away and disappearing. This ties in with one of the game's Kingslayer files, telling the story of a boy who became a lake that supplied fresh water for the village. Undertale Audio Files in the files of Undertale, you can find one called ABC underscore 123 underscore A. This audio is a secret that Toby Fox, the game's creator, didn't want shared online. The audio is really unsettling to listen to, using several computer generated voices. Hello, have some respect and don't destroy the game. It's impossible to have mysteries nowadays. Because of no people like you. Please keep all of this between us. If you fall asleep online, I won't make any more secrets. No one will be impressed. It will be your fault. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 5 PT Broadcast When playing through PT, you'll probably notice, when you're not dying anyway, a radio broadcasting a news report of a particularly grisly series of murders. Metal Gear Solid V actually plays this exact report in Mission 20 as a nod to the cancelled Kojima project. Half-Life Blue Shift Face In both a vent and a bathroom stall in Half-Life Blue Shift, you can find a pretty unsettling face. Both these areas are relatively inaccessible normally. You can jump to see the vent, but the bathroom stall can't be open. You have to no clip in the game to see that one. The photos of a smiling man with eggs covering his eyes. A funny photo of one of the developers, but unsettling with no context. Labo Pet Nightmare In the Nintendo Labo house set, things can get pretty scary. If you leave the game alone at night, your little creature house will start to take a life of its own. Ghosts are appearing, 
paintings gain glowing red eyes, and eventually a king straight from a set of cards can appear to attempt to assassinate the little thing. Things get too scary, the pet will wake up in a panic, everything going back to normal. Condemned Mannequin Head In Chapter 5 of the Condemned Criminal Origins, you come across quite a few mannequins that you have to fight. There's one mannequin that's much more subtle though. You can pass by the mannequin and it will stay mostly still, only moving its head slowly to look at you once you walk by it. It's a much more effective scare than if it were just to attack you like the others. Fail Frame 3, Face Closet At Fail Frame 3, there is a closet that the player can enter. Staying there for a few minutes causes many white, terrifying faces and hands to seemingly come alive off the wall next to you. While this happens, a grudge-like noise can be heard. Scooby-Doo Flash Game Jump Scare Scooby-Doo Escape from the Coolsonian was a flash game made to promote the second live-action Scooby-Doo movie. The point-and-click game was intended for children, making this easter egg an even crazier find. In one room of the game, you find a crowbar, and then in the next room, there's a slightly open sarcophagus. Putting two and two together, you are likely to try to open the sarcophagus with the crowbar. Looking inside, there's a small gray text that you really have to lean in to see. Then boom, the scariest jump scare that I personally have ever experienced. This must have been haunting the kids who are just looking for clues and truly makes no sense as to why it was implemented. Carnival Dahmer Photo In the files of the game Carnival, a strange image was found of Jeffrey Dahmer holding a bloody bag with Neil Nicastro's head in it. The image appears several times in various sizes, and was most likely used for padding, though that doesn't make the image or its subject matter any less disturbing. Steam Amnesia Audio In Valve's infinite wisdom, they decide to add a music player to Steam. This initially doesn't sound like a bad idea, but you quickly begin to understand why this may not have been the wisest decision on their part. The music player has been known to randomly start playing on its own and randomly selecting which audio files from games to play. There have been some funny instances where some users were subjected to speeches from former President Franklin D. Roosevelt. However, some users have reported less inspirational experiences when they randomly started hearing audio files from the horror game Amnesia playing on their desktop. By far one of the scariest possible bugs to come out of a game store software. If it were up to us, Steam probably wouldn't have a music player altogether. Ari Men Sarge's Heroes Alabound Face Ari Men Sarge's Heroes is a third person shooter targeted to a younger, casual audience. Pretty simple concept to understand. You play as the famous Ari Men toys throughout various democracy saving missions. There were, however, a few very out place foes hidden out of bounds in the game, some of which were edited to look pretty gross. YouTuber Sizable Doors is able to acquire footage of this for the first time in 20 years, and we'll just let his reaction do the talking. Holy shit, I did it. I fucking did it. Look at this. This has been undiscovered. I swear to God, it's been undiscovered since this game first came out. I swear to God, I'm probably the only person that's ever found this, and this shit plagued me my entire fucking life, dude. It's like 2 or 3 in the morning, and I'm freaking out. I finally have it on a video evidence. I'm about to put it on YouTube. Dude, oh, finally people will see this shit. Shadow Tower Hanged Man In the Dark Souls predecessor, Shadow Tower, an unused room or unused model was discovered in the game over 20 years after its original release. Using a widescreen hack, players discover an unused model of a hanged man poking out of a wall. It's unknown why he is here, or why the model was scrapped, but people theorize that the developers cut him out at the last second for maybe making the tone of the game just a tad bit too dark. Witcher 3, Towerful of Mice Ghost in the secondary quest, A Tower Full of Mice in The Witcher 3, Geralt is tasked with lifting the curse of Fike Isle. In one part of the quest, Geralt must ascend through a haunted tower and attempt to reason with the ghost. There is more than just one ghost in this tower though, and in a blink you'll miss it moment, another ghastly figure can be spotted inside the tower. There are varying reports of how to make this figure spawn in, but regardless, it is a very unwelcome spook in an already creepy themed mission. It's surprising there are so few reports of this ghost as The Witcher 3 is a very popular game, and this specific mission has likely had been played by millions of people. Kamaitachi no Yoru Kamaitachi no Yoru is a murder mystery visual novel game. 
In a specific moment during your second playthrough of the game, it will glitch out, and following this, you'll be given four options to choose from. They are Curse, True Suffering, Attention, and Why Do You Die? Regardless of what you choose, one in four events will happen at random. Just for an instant, a figure will appear sitting on a beach, only to disappear. The background will turn black and blue and will behave like waves. At the same time, the music will be replaced with a screech. The text displayed is complete nonsense and it talks about Christ, how to put some lotion, and it keeps repeating, there is no help for being cursed. You can see a face in the background. The music is replaced with electricity. It tells a story about one of the developers being dragged into a game. In the last one, and the most creepy of them all, the background becomes black in flashes of images of people who appear to suffer. At the same time, the music is replaced with something scarier. In regards to the text, it seems to be missing some words, but it's still readable and it says that, since this is a game, the player doesn't care how many murders happen, because they're not real. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end! I really, really hope that you enjoyed the video and that you learned something new today. I need to give a massive shout and thank you to the lovely Super Terran, as without her, this video never would have been made. You can find her on YouTube and Instagram with the name Super Terran, or down in the description below. As for me, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to see my future content. Right now, I'm mainly focusing on my Twitch, so if that interests you at all, please stop by and say hi. I would love to talk about more Easter eggs with you. Let me know what I got wrong and what I can improve upon in the future. It's my first ever big project like this, so I have a lot of room for growth. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.